Hello and welcome to another Frontier Precision Tech Talk. Today we'll be using Esri's Arc Map to generate a background image for input into Pathfinder Office and TerraSync uh, for having background data in the field. We need to be connected to the web to do this. And first we're going to go to the Add button, Add Data from ArcGIS Online. And I'm going to search a, Bing's, a Bing Aerial Hybrid Map. Once you found it, go ahead and click the Add Data button. And then we'll want to zoom into the area of interest, which in this case happens to be Arvada, Colorado. We'll let this go ahead and be our area of interest. The next thing we want to do is we want to change the data frame projection to WGS84, which is what Pathfinder is going to want to see. And it just makes things easier toward the end. By default, it's in a Web Mercator Auxiliary Sphere coordinate system, which is a projected coordinate system. Because GPS only knows WGS84 and a non-projected coordinate system. We'll go ahead and choose that by going to GCS World WGS84. Okay. Now, this is still the area we want to work within. We want to go to File, Export Map. Here I typically recommend TIFF files and I like to do about 150 dots per inch but you can play around with this and make sure that it's what you like. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the desktop for now, and I'm going to write a world file to it. It's option whether, optional whether you want to do GeoTIFF tags here. And we're going to call this background. Background 1. At this point, it's saved to the desktop. Go ahead and close ArcGIS. No need to save. And let's go ahead and open up Pathfinder Office. Within Pathfinder Office here, we want actually we want to just step back here and look at the coordinate system and confirm we are in lat long WGS84. File background. Go ahead and add that TIFF this at the desktop. Here's our file. Open. It's going to remember or remind us to set the correct coordinate system. Again, if you choose to export in a different coordinate system such as State Plane or UTM, um, you could do that as long as you're matching apples to apples from Esri to Trimble software. So now that we've added that in the list, let's go ahead and hit OK. And there's our image. This is ready to be deployed to our device. At this point, we could actually connect up to a device, which I'm going to plug in my geo, just to confirm. It's connected here. I'm going to go to Utilities Data Transfer. Confirm that I'm connected to my geo, and I'm going to send a background file over to the unit. Add background. And here's the background file that we would like. Then transfer all. Depending on the size of the image, this may take a little while. The file has successfully transferred. We actually go to our map, and then within layers, background files, and 
and background one. I'm going to go ahead and change the zoom here. And we're going to click Done. Once we've selected our background file. And now our background file is loaded and rendered on our TerraSync mobile device here.